Hello dears, first of all I wish you good health and beautiful family life and start this session. In this video we are going to see that how we can fetch Android SDK version, API version and OS version name programmatically in Android Studio 4.0. So our final output we will get the version release, version code and API level in this practical. So upgrade your android studio to 4.0 check the current version if update is available update your version and just for the knowledge why we are using view binding in this practical because view binding replaces the find view by ids so we are going to use view binding in this practical and just for the information that these are the version with os version name and sdk version and api level and about to release currently maybe you have 8 9 10 or 11 and maybe soon you will get all those output but it is just for the knowledge whatever the version you have get it has version number and api levels so let's start android sdk version api version and os version name to fetch programmatically so go to new project with empty activity in android studio 4.0 plus and it is OTS means one time step for the view binding purpose. Just go to your build.gradle file and inside that just we need to add view binding enable equals to true. Then we can go forward, make sure your internet connection is on. So I'm over here is the file and new project with the empty activity click on next give the name whatever the name you want to give demo version click on finish it is totally based on java so i am going to gradle file build.gradle file make sure it is not dependency so within the scope of android just type view binding and curl we start enabled equals to true there is no semicolon is needed just type sync now make sure your internet connection is on so after that uh, we do not have we are going to replaces all the find view by this after view binding enable equals to true so gradle syncing project process is finished and our project is ready with the view binding capabilities just i close this one and go to after OTS we are going to design our main screen with the constraint layout there is one only text view is here so I'm going to activity underscore main dot xml there is an automatically binded text view is here just type I type version and over here just I type certain parameters likewise ID I want to give at the red plus ID TV and version width is wrap content wrap content i don't mind this one is version and another parameter just i want to set is text color by default it is gray so just i want to set it with black and text size will be 30 sp so our thing is ready with the just check it out with the designing version uh, layout i close it and step number one is over going to step number two just i am going to create one new class named as an g version and i am going to code inside that so go to java file right click on package go to new and java class whatever the name you want to give just write type g version so inside that i am going to code with three string one is version underscore release equals to double quote by default it is null so just i initialize with double quote string version underscore code underscore name equals to double quote with semicolon and string sdk equals to double quote and semicolon just i am going to type constructor so within the constructor default constructor is 
and I type version underscore release equals to that is in build dot version build dot version dot release is there plus double quote for the precaution purpose so just I type it another I am going to add is SDK so yes over here there is an SDK equals to just I type build dot version dot SDK int is there so by default it is we are going to make it automatic type promotion converted to the string so there is an java dot lang dot reflect it's a basically java jdk um, library is built with field one so just i am typing the array of field whatever the name you want to give fields build dot version code is there dot class dot get fields within that we are going to fetch all of that but i want only version code name means os name equals to just i type fields equals to there are many logics you can also pass with the for loop but i am going to directly type by my logic going to just type whatever the create current sdk and just i type get name so it is i think it is very easy to bind all the all of these so step number two is over and over here i am inside the main activity and just set certain text so going to main activity first coding for the view binding because i don't want to give activity main binding is there automatic it is build it so and initialize over here binding equals to activity mean binding dot inflate get layout inflator is there just type semicolon and when we are using view binding and we need to replace binding dot get root okay after that just we have to make it g version equals to new g version automatic all the initialization will be processed and just i am going to type setting values over here likewise binding dot tv version dot set text so whatever the text we want to set we can set over here so first i am going to type version underscore release and after that just plus whatever the variables you have initialized and version release is there so after that this one just i am typing the for the another one plus double quote slash n within the one text i am make it all of that version code is there and plus g version dot version code name is there so one again double quote slash n very easy technique and sdk or you can say api level whatever the thing you want to name it and just type have plus g version dot sdk okay all the variables already we have set it with that so just uh, all of these are set it just i press shift f10 so our steps are completed and we are going to see inside the emulator so practical will be done over here within this screen and gradle process is currently running so very easily we can get whatever the coding you want to build with the version code release name or api level you can make it on your own so depends upon handset you will get the output so currently i am running on the emulator avd android virtual device so depends upon that we will get the output so all the process is running so version release is 10 and version code is q so sdk api level is 29 so you can develop the code on your own so our desired outcome or final outcome when we get sdk version api version and version name programmatically over here so basically our final output is ready commit as per the commitment 
so and definitely you will like it and just for the extra knowledge we can get the fetching the manufacturer and model number also if you require to show inside this screen so only two or three things we have to make it just I type two more string for that one is for manufacturer equals to double cot just I initialize that and another is for model so another two string I want to initialize inside the constructor so manufacturer equals to build dot manufacturer is there okay so it is easy to find the manufacturer and model whatever the model of handset you will get over here so also you can get build dot model so just we need to initialize two more lines slash n okay and we are going to type manufacturer and plus g version dot manufacturer is there and plus double cot slash n another model this time typing plus and uh, you can also get g version dot model okay very easily you can type it press shift f10 very easily you can find all of this so it is very useful for the development when we are doing certain coding on the basis of os at that time these are very useful so easily you can find it all those things so final output is here as take version 10 version release and version code is q api level 29 manufacturer is google and model number is here it depends upon your uh, android virtual device and depends upon your handset so our final output is ready with the commitment and plus things within the commitment so already tested output on the real handset with the samsung sm m20 f5 you can get the output like this one so currently in trend is also that uh, these types of programming many uh, programming programmers are doing such kinds of things if android build version sdk is greater than lollipop and certain coding is here else certain coding is here so day by day in future you can also do the programming like this one and this code is very useful also so it is also solution of how to retrieving android api version programmatically and how to retrieve the android sdk version and how to find android version name programmatically and how to return android os name uh, for more updates regarding the android studio 4.0 subscribe this channel share it and share with your friends so finally completed how to fetch sdk version api version version name programmatically thanks for watching this video like it subscribe this channel share it with your friends thank you thank you very much